Hey guys, my name is Trina and today's video is going to be a grudge glam makeup tutorial using the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. Their colors are so beautiful. It has 21 shades and I just really love the way it is. It's very universal. This is like everyday shades and even going out shades. They got purple to me and I really absolutely love it for this look that I'm gonna create today so if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about makeup click subscribe and a notification bell so you don't miss any new video I prime my lids now for eyeshadow palette I have the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks like. It's a long packaging and it has pictures from all around the world. And then when you open it, it has 21 shades. From this green shade to neutral shade to cool tone shades and bright and bold color shades that's what i just really love about this okay so to start off this look as the base i'm going to use this shade that is called good as gone this brown chocolate shade right here is called good as gone i'm going to use that shade first for the base For the crease, I'm taking this shade right here that is called Baja and it's going to go on my crease. Now for my lid, I'm going back to the shade I used that's called Bea. And it's going to go on my lid. Thank you. 
Now with a shader brush, which is, this is Luxie Beauty 239, I'm going to go in with this shade that is called Hell Ride. It's going to go on my entire lid. I'm going to go ahead and use the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner. It's just a sleek black eyeliner. For mascara, I'm using the Lancome Big Monster Mascara. This one is in the shade Black. And I love this mascara because of the wand. Look how fluffy it is. Love it. For primer, I'm using the Dr. Print Pores No More Luminizing Primer. This I got it in my boxy charm and I love it. So it looks like that. It looks like a moisturizer. For foundation, I have the Mega Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This one, I have it in the shade Y315. This coverage on this foundation is so good that I'm thinking about buying the full size because I just really love the coverage on this. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender lately. I've been loving using the Beauty Blender instead of a brush. I don't know why. I'm just like, I just love Beauty Blenders. But I would definitely go back to using a foundation brush. Then I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal in Divine Concealer, shade C4.
Then for Saturn powder, I'm using the Kat Von D Locket translucent powder. For bronzer, I'm using the Remo Natural Bronzer. This one's in the shade Sunset. Then for highlighter, I'm using this single over highlighter. I think is Blissful or Royal Drive. I'm not sure, but everything will be in the description box. Tongue tied. So this is the color I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna take my highlighter brush now going back to urban decay born to run eyeshadow palette i'm going back to Be beige and it's gonna go on my lower lash For the lips, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Fudge and it's such a beautiful color for the fall. Definitely love it. Lastly, I have the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you like all the parts that I use. And I hope you enjoy everything because there will be more makeup tutorials more hauls more first impressions so please don't miss out on the fun and give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe because you're gonna miss out all the fun so i upload new videos every tuesday and friday i'll see you in my next video